Welcome back to another Random Bits. Uh, in this one, we are going to revisit building a uh, Google Cardboard VR app in Unity and specifically look at the uh, new features that are built into uh, Unity 2017. So, uh, to get started, we're going to create ourselves a uh, project, Unity Cardboard 2017, and it is a 3D project, and we will create that project. So the first thing we're going to do is um, go to our build settings and we're going to set the platform to Android, select Android and switch platform. Um, and then we're going to go to the player settings. Um, the first thing we're going to do under the player settings is open up this new section called XR settings. And here we want to check the virtual reality supported checkbox. And this will open up a, a list. And in this list, we can get to add a virtual reality SDK. So in our case, because we want to build a Google Cardboard app, uh, we will click on this little list and select Cardboard from there. Uh, next up, if we go to other settings, uh, because we are building a, uh, uni a um, Android app, we need to give a, a unique package name for our application. Yeah, and uh, lastly, we need to set the API level and the minimum API level for Google Cardboard to work uh, is uh, API level 19, so 4.4 KitKat, API level 19. All right, um, with that out of the way, uh, let's uh, put something into our scene. So we'll game object, we'll just uh, create a uh, empty, a, a, a cube in the middle of the scene and uh, next up let us create a uh, material and we'll just make this a red material and we'll call it red mat and we'll take that and drag that onto our cube uh, selecting the cube uh, let us make it a little bit more interesting we'll add a uh, X rotation of 45 degrees and then let us add a script just to give it some motion uh, we're gonna call the script spin and we're gonna edit the spin script so this script is just going to uh, have this cube spinning um, 90 degrees every second. We'll just wait for it to start up. Alrighty, so uh, the first thing we're going to do is create a public float and we're going to call this spin value. Spin value. And we're going to set it to 90. And then in our update method, we're going to say transform dot rotate uh, we're going to rotate around vector 3 dot up around the up axis and we're going to rotate by the spin value which is 90 so 90 degrees and we're going to further multiply that by time dot delta time so what we're going to do here is we're going to take the up vector we're going to multiply it by 90 multiplied by delta time and delta time gives us the number of um, the fractional part of one second between the last time um, update was called the last frame update and the next one and so um, pretty much this will give us the uh, ability to spin 90 degrees every one second all right so we save that and jump back to unity um, we can now uh, press play and we have a spinning cube on the screen all right so um, let's save our scene and if we now go to the file and build and run I'm just going to call it unity 
CB 2017 and save. So this is the name of the APK, the um, Android package that's going to be built or application that's going to be built. And we hit save. And Unity will now go and build the app. And I have my um, Android phone plugged in, so it will deploy it. And if that is plugged into a Google headset, we will now have a spinning cube in our Google Cardboard um, viewer. All right, so that's pretty much our application done. So you now be wondering, well, in the last tutorial, um, we had to download an SDK uh, from Google to be able to do all of that. And you know, if it's all built in, why do we need the SDK still? Well, the Google uh, VR SDK adds a bunch of additional uh, features to the built-in Unity Google Cardboard uh, support. Um, most notably, it adds a bunch of um, controller support and the ability to emulate the headset within the, the Unity editor so you don't have to keep installing your application. Um, so I'll show you how that all works now. So the first thing to do is to uh, visit developers.google.com slash VR slash Unity. Um, and we need to download the Google VR SDK for Unity. And you click on download. And uh, for this one, uh, for this video, I am using version 1.110.0. So once uh, that is downloaded, uh, we need to import that into Unity. So the first thing to do is to go File, I mean uh, Assets, Import Package, Custom Package, and find your download. In my case, it's on my desktop. I'm going to uh, install this package, open the package, and uh, we're just going to install everything or import everything. All right, so the first thing we want to add is uh, the uh, editor emulator. And to do that, we need to add a prefab that comes uh, with the Google VR um, package. Let's give this a moment to install. All right, uh, so if, to make things easier, uh, if you're, you can shift this little slider down so that you get a um, listing rather than icons makes it a bit easier to find things and then we're going to use the little search tool here and we're going to search for the first prefab which is called gvr editor emulator and we want to grab this prefab and drag it and drop it into our scene now in previous versions of the google vr kit or package uh, that was all you needed uh, but in this particular version, build 110, you need to add an additional component to get this to work, which is the GVR controller main, uh, this particular prefab here, and we'll drag and drop that into our scene. Right, so if you select the editor emulator, you'll see it gives instructions that you can now use alt and the mouse move to do your and pitch and control and mouse move uh, to do a roll. Uh, so if we press play now and we hold down the Alt key, you can see that we're looking left and right and up and down. And if we hold the Control key, we're doing our head tilt. Now, one thing you may have noticed is that our red cube uh, has disappeared. Um, and this took a little while to figure out why, um, but the workaround to get our cube back is as follows. The first thing we're going to do is uh, create an empty and we're going to drag the cube into our empty with the cube selected. Um, or rather, not the cube, my apologies. We're going to grab the camera into our game object. And with the camera selected, we're going to right click on transform and do a reset so that the camera is right in the middle of our game object. Uh, next up, we are going to take our game object and we're going to rename this person or let's do head. 
and uh, we're going to set its position. So if we're going to leave it as an x of zero. We're going to set a y of 1.8, which if we're using one unity units as being one meter, that's roughly the average head height of a person. So 1.8 meters. And we'll set the uh, z to minus five, just so that we've stepped back from the cube, as you can see here. All right, now if we run, uh, we can now see that our red cube has come back and we can look around by holding down the alt key and we can tilt by using the control key within the editor without having to install the app and test it there, which makes things a lot simpler. All right, um, so let's uh, see what else is in the Google VR uh, Unity package. Uh, let's make things a little bit more interesting. So the first thing we're going to do is import a asset that comes with a package. It's called cube room. Click and drag that into our project, which gives us a nice uh, room of cubes. Uh, let's pick up our cube and move it somewhere more interesting. So X zero, move it up a little bit to and move it towards uh, the wall at 4.5. Alrighty, and we can select our head and position that in the center of, of the room. So at Z0 and still at the uh, 1.8 meters high. Right, so if we just press play now, we can see that we can look around our room and we can tilt as well. All right, so we have this red cube spinning there. So one of the other things that comes with the a Google View VR uh, package is a bunch of prefabs that makes it really easy to create interactive scenes and use the Google Cardboard um, button to do that interaction. Um, so the first thing we need to do to get that to work is to add a um, another prefab called GVR Event System. So the GVR Event System. We're just going to drag that into there. Uh, the next thing we're going to add is the GVR um, rectical uh, GVR rectical pointer, right? And we need to add this prefab to our camera. So let's just find our camera inside the head, and we grab the pointer and add it um, to the camera. Uh, the other thing we need to add to the camera is a script called GVR pointer physics ray caster. All right, so if we find our main camera, we take the physics ray caster and drop it into there. Um, and what this ray caster does is it um, effectively casts rays from the camera's location and allows um, it to interact with objects in our scene. And you, the uh, rectangle kind of gives us a target to point at. So we run that now. We'll see we have a small dot in the center of our screen, um, but not much else is happening. And the reason for that is that there is nothing in the scene for it to uh, interact with. So to fix that, what we're going to do is go to our cube and on our cube, we're going to add a component to our cube called an event trigger. All right. And um, if we run this now, we can see the rectangle change. So if it's pointing at something, the wall or whatever, nothing happens. But if we hover over the cube, we can see that the uh, shape of it changes, indicating that it can interact with the cube. Now, if we left mouse click, which would simulate pressing the uh, button on the Google Cardboard headset, uh, nothing happens. So uh, let's make it do something. All right. So the first thing to do is if we jump back to our script. We're going to add a new method over here, and we're going to call this method. Uh, it's a public void method, and we're going to call it flip spin. And uh, what we're going to do in here is we're going to say that spin value is equal to negative spin value. So pretty much when we call this method, 
Yeah, if it was at 90, it will become minus 90, effectively spinning the other way. And if it was minus 90 and we um, call flip spin again, it will um, start rotating the opposite direction. Right, so jumping back to Unity now, we can go to our event trigger that is on our cube and we can click um, add new event and we want to add a pointer click event. And then we want to add a, a actual item that gets hap that happens or a call that happens when the pointer click event occurs. So we have this little plus sign and it will bring up this thing here. Yeah. So the first thing we do is we want to take the cube object and drag it into here. And so when the pointer clicks, uh, we want to call a method on the cube object. And what we're going to call is um, under the spin uh, component, we are going to call the flip spin method. All right. So if we run that, we can now see that if we aim at the cube, we can interact with it. And if we tap or click, uh, we can change the direction of the cube. All right. Um, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Um, if you want more information, there is a lot more documentation on the Google uh, VR uh, SDK for Unity website. Um, and also in the package that has uh, that you imported, if you look under the demo section, there is a number of different types of scenes or demoing all sorts of um, other things, uh, such as playback of video or uh, virtual keyboards and the like. All right, well, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video.